Well, hello and welcome from a very sunny Coney Beach Port Call, and I think it's time for some chips. Well, if you've watched our videos before, you know we've done the reviews of all the chip shops in Porth Core. Well, all the permanent chip shops, the ones that open all year round. But last week, myself and Mel decided to try some of the seasonal chip shops, the ones only open during the summer season. We started with a fish and chippery over at Park Dean Treco Bay, which was a bit... Uh, and this week, it's the turn of a chip shop closer to the fairground known as Chips to Go. Well, our regular viewers may be asking, where's Mel? You're trying fish and chips. She's normally there. Well, there's a couple of reasons for that. One, we're going away very shortly and Mel's packing. Secondly, well, I'll get to that a bit later. Anyway, chips to go. Well, before I try the chips, a confession. I don't eat fish myself. Mel is the fish expert and she's not with me today. So apologies. I'll see if I can persuade her to come back and try some fish at a later date. But anyway, you have to put it with me and I'm gonna have chips, Irish curry sauce if they got it, and maybe a sneaky sausage. We'll see what they've got to offer. Anyway. Hi, can I have um, a portion of chips, a small sausage, and an Irish curry sauce as well, please. Can I have it wrapped? So I'm just walking over to the beach. Yeah, yeah thanks. Yeah. Do you like salt and vinegar? Yes, please, on everything. Anyway, the reason why Mel isn't with me, as you can see, I'm having these on actual sand. The reason being is the food hygiene rating in the UK is out of five. Three is satisfactory, then good and very good. Below three, it's below par. That's got hygiene rating in the latest one I looked at was two. So Mel didn't want to try fish there. But a few people said the chips are good. But I think when it's below a three, it's you've had a few drinks and those rules don't apply. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going with just chips and they're deep fried, so they're pretty safe. But, and also, sometimes the hygiene rating doesn't tie in with the actual taste of the product. The woman behind the counter was very polite, very nice. She asked if I wanted anything, any sauces, and they had tomato ketchup, but it's not Heinz. So, so far, first impressions were good. But it looked okay, it looked quite clean. So we'll see. Anyway, let's take a look at the food. I went for a sneaky sausage. The chips, they do look a bit greasy. What do you think? So the Irish curry sauce. Doesn't look too bad. Better, much better than the one in Treco Bay. Well, they look greasy. They do taste quite nice. It's odd because they don't look particularly nice. Curry sauce. Curry sauce is good. I'll give the curry sauce an eight out of 10 on its own. But the chips, 
I was going to say, hmm, they started off tasting nice, but a few of them are a bit hard at the moment. It's dripping everywhere. So what I'll do now is enjoy the chips and curry sauce and the sausage. I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Well, the sausage went down well. They're okay, but there's a few of monkey ones like these here. Quite a few of those. What's the ketchup like? Well, it was good they offered free ketchup, but it wasn't really that nice. Not Heinz, Mel's right. It should be Heinz. I think I forgot to mention the price. The chips, curry sauce, can, and a sausage. It was seven pound, so not too bad. By the way, I forgot. Having chips on the beach. The sand gets everywhere, however careful you are. I'll just pack these away and I'll get back to you with my summing up. So summing up, before I do, look at this weather. Look at Porth calling this weather, look at that. It's quite quiet at the moment. I'm being interrupted by building work over there. People are asking when they're going to finish the work on the promenade in the pier. It was meant to be March. It's now end of June and they're still working on it. So, I don't know. They're saying July, but I can't see it myself. Anyway, back to the chips. Well, the chips were tasty at first, but they were a bit greasy. And I couldn't eat them all. Curry sauce, I know it's a mix, but it can go badly wrong as we saw with the Treco Bay video. But that was tasty, that was good. And the sausage, deep fried sausage, you can't go wrong with a deep fried sausage. Mel would have loved that. Obviously, I didn't have the fish, which is the major decider at most fish and chip shops. I have to come back down, persuade Mel to come and try the fish. Personally, I don't think she would have enjoyed it. I think she would have found it a bit greasy. But that's me speaking for Mel. By the way, hashtags popped up. Hashtag let Mel talk. <laughs> we can't have that, can we? <laughs> anyway, overall, my score then. I'd give it a six and a half. If I was in the area, I'd give it a try. Would I go out of my way to go there? No. But if I was down the fair or on the beach, I'd definitely give it a try. So, anyway, if you haven't seen my hour, my hour chip videos with Mel in, they're coming up next, and we'll see you in one of those. Bye.